Any questions? I do have one question myself. Now, when you do when you do your convexity, do you do it only from the mesial and distal? I do it. Or I do it wherever you like it. I do it where I need the papilla. I have to know where I uh, where I have to get more papilla. Mm -hmm. And you can do it in the buccal. You do it in the buccal. If you have to to get the margin level of the the, the margin of the, the the gingiva margin, if you want to improve it you can do it in the, in the buccal. I mean, if you do it on the buccal side, then you will have the margin creeping to the, to the, to the incisal edge. Yes, exactly. So you can cover more of the tooth. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you agree, guys? This is very interesting. This is the first time I hear about that. Thank you very much. Use digital. Don't do it with your hands. It is not a great. OK, then, another question. What are the parameters you're using? Mm -hmm. Because, because you're telling me uh, you're going to use digital. You're going to use CAD CAM. Now, the main point is, where do you want the CAD CAM to operate? Now, you're looking at, you're looking at, at, at the soft tissue from the perspective of the human eye. Mm -hmm. Or are you scanning it? I'm scanning. I scan, so, as you could see, I scan the emergency profile. I scan the, I scan, uh, the, the, the abutment, the scan body. So. I try to add everything that I send to the lab is scanned. So, but as I said before, the protocol said, what I'm establishing the protocol is that the first provisional is a straight provisional. So with no, nothing, the straight provisional that you do in the office. And then you go with that straight provisional that will be that your emergency profile, you start to man manage the other STLs, the concave, the concave STL and the convex STL. Okay, so you go, you're going with, with, the, with the scanner. So the scanner tells you scanner where tells you want. Do you, ha do you have any figures on that? Are you coming with any figures? With any? With any, any values. So if I want, of course. for instance, if I want to push this, uh, this, this gingival level one millimeter, I need that much of, of soft tissue and I need that much of convexity from exactly. the machine. Exactly. But every time you do that, every time you create a convexity, the, the um, the difficult point is when you create the convexity, because you can create an ischemic point. So you have to control quite well where is if the ischemia goes away. I normally, I usually leave the, leave the patient 10 minutes in my office to see if the, the soft tissue is, uh, stops, uh, stops to being white and gets red again. And, but I always ask to Daniel to do me more convexity because I prefer to remove than to add in the office. Because when I add in the office, I'm adding a material that does a lot of monomeral, re uh, monomeral releasing and will uh, increase my recession. Okay. Thank you very much.